Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Trucker Rudy tuning in. Yes, indeed it is. For those of you that are new to my channel, we appreciate you guys tuning in to my channel for the first time. Yes, indeed. And all of the rest of you that have been here for a while, we appreciate you guys coming back. That's correct. And happy Thanksgiving long weekend to you guys. I know we're seven days behind and some of you probably don't realize that but this weekend is actually a long weekend up here in Canada but yet I am working it's a life as a truck driver you can never really take off as much time as you like you don't have every weekend off like you would like Especially with the big deals I've had the last little while here, I can't afford to take anything off. Not as of right now, anyways. We just finished fueling up here at the uh, meters. Turn right on Highway 12. At the uh, co-op here in Steinbaum. So we are good to go. And we're heading to Dryden, Ontario. And then from there we're going to Jackson, Missouri. Yes, indeed. Looks like it's a little bit of a cloudy day today, but hey, we're inside. It's nice and warm in here. Continue it's cold outside, but hey, kilometers. nice and warm in here, so we're comfortable. It's all that matters, right? Our truck is running, everything has been fixed, as I think I mentioned yesterday on the, on the, on the video, but I guess just time will tell, right? We won't hold our hopes up too high, I guess. We'll have to keep on driving and see what happens, right? But my EGR code is gone now, so that is a bonus. I don't have no more codes on my display anymore, so that's fantastic news. <laughs> and going back to the uh, Thanksgiving weekend, as you guys saw yesterday, we were over there at my dad's place, and so that was uh, kind of our way of celebrating Thanksgiving weekend. My brother was there, and that's pretty much all the family we have out here, so. So for those of you guys that don't know, my dad is not living with his wife that he originally married. He's living with a different woman now. He's not married to her, but yeah, he kind of separated with his first wife and now he's living together with another woman, so but she's nice. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, we'll continue on cruising along here. And, uh, we'll have us a fantastic day. I am just coming in to Dryden right now, guys. Yes, indeed. And it is still a little bit cloudy and still drizzling every once in a while a little tiny bit. But, hey, other than that, we made good time up to here. Yes, we have. So far, everything is working the way it's supposed to. Haven't gotten any EGR codes or anything like that yet. Truck hasn't wanted to shut down at all yet or anything like that. So, everything seems to be working correctly. I don't have no more exhaust leaks so far. Although, we've been running empty too, right? So, that's a little different than running with the load too but oh wow look at these guys here eh yeah two of them nice looking smoky bears up here looking at everybody and seeing how they're behaving wow i'm surprised yeah even two of them wow i've heard of them sitting there before but i think i have seen one there before but don't remember seeing two of them at there at the same time there but 
Oh well, I guess they're going to make sure everybody's doing the speed limit today. Which we always are, right? At least I try my very best doing the speed limits all the time. Sometimes I mistakenly go over speed too, but that doesn't happen very often. Sometimes I miss the sign or or whatever and then it does happen, but I usually take this bypass around here. I used to go through town and go in that way. It's a little shorter that way, but the last time I came through there, they had that under construction up there, so uh, they had like a weight restriction limit on there. So from then I've been going through this area here the whole summer, taking the bypass around this way. Yeah, it's a little further to go, but whatever. I have just done my trailer switch here in Dryden now. So that is fantastic news. We are all legal with our weights and everything, so hammer down to Jackson. Yes, indeed. That was 79,300 pounds in total. Yeah, that is heavy. Only 700 pounds more and I would be maxed out. Yes, indeed. So here we are on the 502, heading towards the border. Yeah, I've been on this now probably for about 20 kilometers already. We got 133 kilometers to go yet until we get onto uh, what's called the Highway 11. And then we got another 30 kilometers from there to the border. And then we'll be in the United States of America if they let us in. Yeah. Let's hope they'll let us in back into the United States again. I mean, I don't see why not, but uh, hey. They could have their reasoning, right? That's right. But yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Back on the road again, and making some miles. That's good. Now the real test is gonna be, is my truck gonna be ready to work again? So far, so good. Although, it's only the first day, right? We'll have to see how long it's gonna last. But yeah, so far everything is working really good. I haven't had any codes come on yet, or... Everything seems to work good. Although it does smoke a little bit, and I'm kind of... Not black, I mean, not uh, blue smoke, but it's black smoke. Every time it has to, has to pull really hard, it almost seems like it's smoking more than it did before, you know? Like, more black smoke than it did before I had the EGR valve in there, you know? But, uh, hey, I've even noticed that my turbo is running differently than it did before I had my EGR valve working properly. Like, before I could always hear my turbo, right? And now it's got some kind of different control system on it. Or I guess now it's working the way it's supposed to, I guess. That's what I'm assuming because, I mean, I'm not getting any codes, right? So... And what it's doing is when I stop somewhere, it sort of senses it that, I, that it doesn't need to work so hard. So then it kind of goes out pretty much. And then the truck is just kind of idling there. And then every once in a while I hear it kick in for a little bit, you know. I can clearly, you can clearly hear that turbo come on, you know. I found that to be a little weird, but hey. I guess they know what they're doing and they set everything up and so I guess everything is working the way it's supposed to so it's got good power I have no more exhaust leak so far yet anyways as far as I can tell and you guys can probably hear that it's nice and quiet it just had to pull there a little bit I mean, the last few days of driving there, you would have probably heard that 
squealing noise or whatever. And so yeah, all right. We got somebody parked here on the shoulder. Yeah, I guess they're hunting out here. Well, it is uh, it is hunting season already. I heard you can already hunt with the bow, bow and arrow. That's what you can hunt with up here in Canada for deer right now, as far as I understood. So I guess we're gonna have hunters out here. I wouldn't mind hunting myself, but I don't have hunting license, so or I don't even have gun license, so wouldn't mind getting one. But I still don't have one. Welcome to the United States, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we have gotten back in the U.S. We are now officially in Minnesota. Welcomes you. Nice. We appreciate you welcoming us. Thank you. I appreciate you guys letting me in again. Yes, I promise I will try my best to behave. <laughs> yeah, that is the truth too. Yep. I gotta swing this corner really wide, otherwise Turn left on my trailer Turn goes over the edge. All right, RJ, we will be doing that. We will be doing that. Yes, indeed. It's four o'clock in the afternoon, and here we are. Beautiful sunny day right now. Well. Kind of. The sun is kind of peeking through, but it was before I got to the border. It was pretty nice, actually. So yeah. Continue on this it road for seven miles. It is a good day all the way around so far. Anyways, truck is held up, especially over the hills and stuff like that. Managed to get through there, right? So that's a good sign. That means it's held up. And that's all that really matters, right? So far, so good. So let's get on down the road. I have no idea how far we're gonna go tonight, but go as far as I decide to go, right? Until I get tired or until I run out of hours, one or the other. Then we will be done for sure. <laughs> yep. That's right. Alrighty guys, we got us another 35 more miles to go and then we'll be in the Duluth area. Yeah, although I don't think we will be going actually through Duluth this time. <clears throat> I think we kind of go around that a little bit. The way the GPS has got me routed is basically go down 33 south towards I-35, yes indeed, that way that will start taking us towards Minneapolis, that's right, yeah that's the plan as of right now, so I've still not decided where we're going to call it a day, but I know there's a couple of rest areas along that I-35, and uh, I I was thinking of that one rest area just before Minneapolis, but that would probably be kind of late by the time I get down there, so I might actually call our quits before that, just be done, continue with my journey tomorrow, but we'll see what we will decide on when we get closer, right? Yeah, that's right. Well, guys. As you guys can see, it is dark out there probably. Yes, indeed. But we are done for today. Yep. <clears throat> Actually, I had me a good night's sleep already before I decided to finish off with my video. And uh, yeah, so far so good. Truck ran good okay yesterday anyways, for the most part I would say. From what I can tell, it runs good, but it smokes like crazy, and I thought it was supposed to be smoking less and all that stuff. So, uh, I don't know. Well, I guess we'll talk to the mechanic when we get back or whatever, see what that's all about. 
but uh, yeah other than that we're uh, we're gonna hang her up here and then we'll see you guys tomorrow have a good one we'll catch you on the next one <laughs>